gotta go now, gotta go Swerving in my whip, can't slow down Driving fast with cars, boy, I'm on the road now Automatic star, my vid take a call now Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back to the Rose Session Central I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, we're gonna be having a look at Natalia, the Nether Queen, right here from Arena of Valor. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Let's get right into today's Hero Spotlight and gameplay video. As always, if you guys already know a lot about the character and don't need to learn her abilities, I will be leaving a timestamp down below for you to stri skip straight towards the gameplay. But for everybody else, let's do this thing. So here we go, starting off with her passive. Abilities deal additional damage to enemies and can be stacked up to 10 times within a short time So what this means for you is you want to stack your abilities as much as possible Abilities 1 and 2 have a pretty short cooldown time So if you can get those stacked up and then get right into your third ability You will be doing just fine and as I did say before if I have not mentioned it Natalia is a mage and her role here is to harass so right into ability number one, Arcane Spirits. Natalia fires five Arcane Spirits towards the target area. Each Spirit does 350 magic damage to enemies within. When an enemy is hit by multiple Spirits, each additional Spirit only deals 30% damage. Spirits stop traveling when they hit an enemy hero. So probably what you're thinking right now is, should I use that ability to try and hit multiple heroes? at the same time and it all depends in certain situations but for the most part if you can hit them with all six they're still going to do a lot of damage and 30 percent damage from each of the spirits is huge so try to use that in 1v1 or in group fight situations but moving on to ability number two right over here is the arcane nova natalia casts an arcane orb towards a specified direction when the orb touches an enemy here or an enemy or reaches the end of its path it becomes an arcane nova and stuns the enemy's hit for one second then the orb grows in size and flies slowly to deal 130 magic damage each time it comes into contact with an enemy, reducing their movement speed by 50% for 1.5 seconds. So this second ability is probably the first ability that I use in a team fight, or if I happen to jump an enemy, I'll get right into that sequence after I finish her main attack right here. Her ultimate, which is the Lethal Rays, Natalia commands Poison Fang to release Lethal Rays dealing 120 magic damage every 0.25 seconds guys that right there is ridiculous while channeling natalia gains a shield that absorbs 500 damage natalia is immune to crowd control effects while the shield lasts the ability must be channeled and has a maximum duration of 3.5 seconds channeling can be cancelled after one second by using the ability once again so if you're in a bad spot and you've used your ultimate you can cancel it after one second to quickly get that off and try and get away from the battlefield but usually what i like to do with natalia is start off with her second ability arcane nova to slow down your opponents get them standing in one place before hitting them with all the spirits and then firing them down with lethal rays because the range on lethal rays is absolutely insane so what we're gonna do now is hop into some or hop into a battle with natalia so i can show you guys exactly how i use her here in the team fight so this is the build that i am currently using with natalia right before we do hop into the battle because i know some of you guys are curious as to what equipment i have on her but i have the trusty old boomstick which increases 240 ability power and it has some passives as well you guys can read those but these are just what i'm running i've got the boomstick i have the uh, apocalypse plus 200 ability power and plus 10% cooldown speed, allowing her to stack those abilities a little bit easier. We've got the Hectate Diadem, which gives me plus 200 ability power, the Barret's Agony plus 140 ability power, 10% cooldown and 270 armor. And then we have the Staff of Gnaw, which is 180 ability power plus 10% cooldown speed, and the Holy of Holies, which is plus 400 ability power. So now we can really get into that gameplay and see how we use Natalia. All right, guys, so here we go right into the matchup. This is the lineup. We have a Illumia, a Nakroth, a Valheim, and a Xanus on our team. So we are lacking in tanks. But what we lack in tanks, we make up with with the mages with that Illumia and Natalia backline. So hopefully we can do really well in the early game with the Nakroth on our team. And we are going up against an enemy Nakroth as well. They have the Arthur there in the front line. But I guess they're sort of lacking on tanks as well because they've got Arthur. Then they have a Dial Chan, a Midnight Yorn, and a Violet. One of the best carries here in the game. But what with with Natalia, I like to run. Um, I f oh man, oh man, it's already gone from my hot from my mind. But basically, it's Flicker. I like to run Flicker with Natalia. Basically, when you're in those team fights, 
those people like um, like Nakroth, like Arthur, they're gonna try and target you. So if you happen to get trapped by them, I like to flicker back just a little bit to give you more space, allow you more time to burn them down, and to allow your teammates more time to try and help you out so you can take those characters down. Because if you go down first in a team fight, it's not gonna be good for your team. They need you alive, they need you doing a lot of damage for them so that you guys can cook the opponent. I will try and take the solo lane here by myself if Illumia allows it. She might want to take the solo, uh, the mid lane. She might want to take the bottom lane. It looks like she's going to go to the bottom lane. So what I'm going to do here is get my uh, second ability first. I always like to go with the Nova just so I can slow people down. It helps me get away, but it also helps, uh, let's say, for instance, Nakroth. If he wants to come and gank and pick up a kill, using this ability really does help him out. And it can easily help me get away like I did say earlier. But let's take care of these minions here in the early game. Try and get our level up. I believe Dial Chan does have a little bit more range than I do. So she's going to be smacking me with her abilities before I can even touch her. Look at that range. Absolutely unbelievable because it is splash damage. So let's just keep on. Uh, let's just stay back. Let's just stay back. There's no need for us. Okay, so she's going to miss there. Perfectly okay with me. We're going to clean up this last minion now and get our next ability, which is the Arcane Spirit. So we've got to keep in mind that we do want to use these abilities as uh, consecutively as possible to stack damage. So if she does get close and there aren't minions, we're going to try and stack those abilities up. But as for right now, let's just take care of the minion wave. We've got on the bottom lane over here, we've got a Vio, versus, or Vio and Arthur versus that one Illumio. So that's not good for our team. We'll probably have to tell either Yorn, no, who is that, Valheim? Yeah, probably gonna have to tell Valheim to switch and go to the bottom lane. Maybe tell our Yorn, or our, um, oh man, <laughs> our Xanus to go bottom lane too. That's not a bad idea. We don't want that Illumia to get jumped. Hopefully she hugs tower and just stays right by. But as of right now, I do want to tell, let's see, it's a Valheim. So we're gonna tell Xanus to go bottom lane. Hopefully he does listen here because that's a 2v, or we can have a 1v1 uh, marksman where that's no big deal. Go, oh no, of course. Right when Nakroth wants to jump her, that's when I'm not able to help him out because I'm telling the teammates to go to the bottom lane. But that's going to be okay. I don't think, is he already level 4? He might be, uh, yeah, he's already level 4. So he was ready to go super jump there. But that's going to be okay, guys. I've got my, I'm going to go with the Arcane Spears here to the next level. Get that Enchanted Scroll. And is Dio Chan hiding in the grass waiting to freeze me up? Or is she by her tower? Not really too sure. We're going to go ahead and hit the, hit the Arcane Spears there. And then I'm not going to go forward. Instead, I'm actually going to go to the bottom lane to help out and see if Illumia does need any assistance. Dial Chan is here. I was making sure she wasn't, uh, okay, so we're gonna try, okay, Nakroth is going to go backwards. I thought he was gonna try and gank there. For now, let's go with, let's, uh, no, we'll leave that to Nakroth. He's gonna, he's gonna jungle and do a pretty decent job there. As of right now, I'm just gonna build up in lane, get my, get my abilities up, try and get that lethal raise up, so that when I spam them with that Arcane Nova, slow them down and hit them with the Spears, and then dive right into lethal rays, it's gonna do a lot of damage. We'll probably pick up some kills, if not assists, and it looks like there's a team fight going on. Arthur getting away with any cookies. We're going to go ahead and drop the ball off to slow him down. And then drop the raise off. We're going to pick up first blood right there. Nice gank helping out our boy Nakroth. He was still able to get his golem, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Let's pick up the lethal raise, though. And we're actually down one to two. I believe a Nakroth got a double kill there in the top lane. So our boys are overextending on that Yorn. Yorn is half health. So it's okay, okay, okay. I'm going over. I'm going over. It looks like, uh, yeah, Nakroth's on that. That tower is gone. We lost that first tower early in this game, guys. Very, very early. I'm going to leave that lane alone. I don't believe they're going to actually push forward. If they push forward, I'll drop down a bottom lane. Okay, Nakroth's going to try to pick up a kill here. Dial Chan can't really take a tower that fast. So let's go and check out the scene. Yorn is still here. Mistakes made on scene. Drop off this uh, this uh, arcane ball. Drop off the uh, spirits. And let's see if we can get this beam off and try and help out our boy. So he doesn't go all the way down. Oh, yes, guys. Oh, let's clean her up, too. Get the spirits over there. Oh, yes, boys. We're going to clean that up. With Natalia picking up another kill, let's get our second ability over here and try and tower dive, hopefully attack this tower while Natalia is down there. Three opponents dead. We're going to try and clean up the entire minion wave, get this tower back so we can get gold for our team, which is going to be pretty big here. Let's go ahead and get the Valheim on the tower. We've got Flicker ready to go in case we do need to run. Nakroth, I believe, is going to go back to his jungle. We'll pick up the Boomstick and it looks like there is an Arthur on the scene. So I was actually about to flicker away, but since we've got company here, let's just do this instead and beam them down, boys. Beam them down. Look at that. Oh, no. Arthur's going to go down as well. I'm just going to flicker away just to make sure that Dial Chan doesn't get a freeze off on us. Otherwise, that could be bad news. That would not be good at all if she gets that freeze off and we die. But it looks like we did a pretty decent job there. Illumina saying hello, team. I guess she got cooked in the bottom lane by the Violet, but we're cooking really in the mid, what I'm going to do now, yeah, Nakroth and Valheim, or Nakroth, and yeah, they're, they're all there. Valheim, Xanus, everybody is there. I will help you out with bottom lane now, although obviously it should be the Xanus. But as of right now, let me clear up these minions for you. And then after that, 
I've been pinging for help. <laughs> all good, all good. That's not supposed to be my my uh, my duty here, but I will help you out. That's what teammates are for. Looks like Valheim has finally decided to show himself in the bottom lane, and I will go back to middle, try and hold that down from the uh, from the Dio Chan, really. And let's see here. We've got the spirit stuff. We'll just go ahead and drop that off. But check it out, guys. The, the cooldown time is very quickly or very quick, and we haven't even gotten that 10% increase yet. Once we get that, it's going to be deadly. Something crazy is going on in the forest over here. Nakarov is trying to jump our boy. So for that, we're going to make him pay, right, real quick. Real quick. Okay, so he's, yeah, the mobility I forgot is unbelievable. Hit him with the arcane spirits. Is he going to try and stay here for, no, nah, I'm not going to use my ult. I would have stayed and used my ult there. Lumio getting crushed there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She got away with one HP, boys. One HP. That's where Xanus is supposed to be. They're not double marksmen because, I mean, Violet's a marksman, but she's got so much, like, she, she's just an unbelievable mark. So let's back out of that freeze. Don't want to be getting hit by that. And she's saying you let me die. So that's not my that's not my business there. We're going to go ahead and hit him with the arcane. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get rid of her, please. Okay, I think I got a, a couple of taps off there. But as of right now, I need to go back. I wasn't going to die for you. Selfish teammates. Come on, mate. You've got to die for her there. But we are going to pick up an assist regardless. So we're, we did well. We did well. Let's clean this up. She does have a point though. She, she has a point, yet you still died. So if you're gonna die anyways, die for her. You guys would have both stayed alive probably because she was down to one health. I don't know why you were trying to run away, but not for you. So selfish. So selfish. <laughs> oh no, okay. I'm just gonna hit him with that because if he, if he becomes selfish in the team fights, uh, it's not gonna be good for us. It's not going to be good for us. But let's hit, the, let's hit the spirits down on this. We've got to get the mid lane. They already have a tower down. That's not good for our team at all. We've got three people here in the mid. Maybe we can tower dive. Yeah, our Zanis is probably... Okay, there's a... Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Let's see if I can make her back up and at least give our minions an uh, ample amount of time to take them down. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, minions. Do damage. How much damage does that tower have left? Oh, one shot. Oh, one shot. I should have stayed there and tried to flick one more shot onto that tower. Somebody was clearing top, so I've got to keep a close eye on that. I don't want him to come over here and sneak my boy's, my boy's jungle. So if I get jumped, that's life. We do have our flicker back up, though. And it looks like he's all good in the jungle, so no big deal. No big deal. The owl is down. Let me try and slow her down here with our arcane fireball thing. Oh, she's she's backing up. She knows what it is. Oh, Bio's on the scene, though. Bio does a lot of damage. I'm backing out of here. We need a tank to take all that. Makaroth doesn't really want that battle. He knows better than that. So we're just going to chill. Because she's got a lot of range, like I did say before. And if nobody's diving in, really, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough for us. So let's go, let's go like this. And that's all. Oh, I'm just getting smacked. They have, a, they have a Yorn. They have a Yorn. I was like, what is that? They've got okay, okay, okay. I'm getting cooked. I'm just gonna go back to the base here. We're just getting obliterated by Violet's long range abilities, Yorn's sniping ability, and then that fireball on the ground there. And hopefully, Nakrop doesn't dive in to like get there. Looks like looks like. Oh my goodness, they're pretty low. They are really low. Oh, no. I wish I was still there. I would have died, though, most likely, but I wish I was still there. No! <laughs> Well-timed freeze! Well-timed freeze! Well-timed freeze. She predicted that right. I didn't sidestep it. And look how much damage we're taking from that vial. Unbelievable stuff. I should probably go after this knockout, though. Don't want to lose our second-level tower here without putting up a fight, at least. And let's go like this now. Oh, our game's going to lag. Oh, that's Wi-Fi. Okay, that's fine. We're going to clean up this last expo minion right over here. Make sure he doesn't take the tower down too low. And then we're going to rotate back to the middle because we are giving up towers right now. So we've got our trick blade right coming up next. And it looks like we're going to get jumped here. So that feels pretty good, man. Flicker not coming off in time. Hopefully they clean up my kill, though. Yeah, I tried to hit that flicker, but I think I hit my ability first. And that's what got me killed. He is a level 12, and I believe I'm level 9. Level 9. So he's been jungling really well. Our Nakroth is also level 12. But they have, their team in general is a high level because they have more gold. So we've been slacking in those gold battles, unfortunately. But as a Natalia right now, we're doing a pretty good job. Probably shouldn't have gotten caught out there. Well done to the Nakroth. I didn't think he'd actually come very, very deep into our jungle. And I'd get jumped like that when I have a whole team. But we are down to the high ground. And our team is arguing, so <laughs> that's not good. But either way, let's see here. What's happening over here? Our Nakroth is getting jumped by an Arthur and a Nakroth. GG. GG, my boy. We've got to try and clean up those kills. First of all, we've got to get to an even level, which is going to be kind of rough to do because they have so many towers down. They're on the, they're on the, the oh, he's dead, he's dead. Well done, Zanus. We've got to try and get that dragon, in my opinion. What I'm going to do here is try and sneak a jump on this, uh, on this dial. Uh, I think she was ready for it. I think she just wanted to clear those minions out. That was, that was well played, well played. She duped our, she duped our Nova ball. If we had hit her with that ball, we would have tried to hit her with the spirits next, and then got her with a beam, and that would have been, that, that range. That, oh, no, no, sir. 
Zaynus, are you going in or nah? Nah, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. So they've got Arthur in the top lane coming in. And they're just putting out so much offensive pressure. That Abyssal Dragon is... Oh, I'm pretty sure that Abyssal Dragon is dead. We'll get some more ability here with the Apocalypse equipment. And with this, uh, with this Vio coming in, I'm not really liking what I'm seeing. Not really liking what I'm seeing at all. This is when you, this is the issue when you don't have a solid, solid tank. Like, we have a warrior. He can sort of dive in there, but he can't eat damage as well as a Thane or a Crush can in this game. I'm probably going to wait and try and jump somebody. I think that's probably my best bet here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm dead. I knew I, knew I was dead. I should have just at least tried to fire my beam and get a little bit of damage off, but that Violet was just awaiting. She rolled in. She, okay, so that, their whole team was in this bush over here. And then Vio rolled into the bush. My team was nowhere to be found. So that, that was unfortunate. Now we're going to have a 1v1 Nakroth fight. He is dipping scene there because he doesn't want any of that. Honestly, Nakroth right now is doing a pretty decent job, I believe, in the jungle. And then we've got our Zanus doing a great job as well. Four kills, two deaths. Not too bad. We haven't grouped up for a team fight yet. I've got three kills, four assists. I'm doing well. But our Valheim, our ADC, the man that's supposed to be putting out the most damage, is getting basically nothing done here. And then we have the Alumia who's also just arguing with him back and forth. So hopefully we can make something happen here in the late game with those team fights. Really bring Nakroth back in this because he's doing a great job. And I feel bad for characters when they carry this hard and basically nothing comes from it. We're still down three kills, down so many objectives. And that's the reason why we're dying here. Not working as a team. Selfish gameplay. <laughs> All terrible attributes here that you want. You don't want to see any of those here in, in Arena of Valor. We're going to try and bring this one back though. Just got to stay alive. Probably have to hug our towers honestly. And hope that they don't take the Dark Slayer. Otherwise, that right there is definite GG. Poor Zanus, I think, is getting jumped. Uh, let's go here. Oh, what? I, I guess he saw me on the radar. The man sniped me down with his arrow. Did he pick up any kills? No, he's just getting jumped by a whole squad. Luckily, Zanus just have that ability to run away quite quickly, actually. And just, like, you know, get rid of all the all the stuns and stuff that he has on him. So let's, let's, get, let's take care of this as a team fight. I, I'm, I'm tired of these. I'm tired of this eye, so I'm just going to stay near my team. At this point, we've lost all of our towers, so we just got to stay as a team. And if somebody tries to jump, we jump them, take them down one by one. I mean, obviously, they're probably going to work together. And here, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. The man stole his golem. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay, Vio's mid. No, I'm, oh, my goodness. Did you see how much damage I took from one shot? From one shot, I took like five, uh, three, I believe it was 3,000 damage. 3,000, man. And if he hits me with another one, I'm dead. Yeah, she's dead. Wow, Bio. Bio's OP. I'm not even going to try and stop that Nakroth from taking our bottom tower right now because that's GG there. Um, hopefully, our team doesn't. <laughs> Are they actually going to surrender here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I believe we got, we got an assist, but that's fine. I'll take a kill or assist. That's perfectly fine. Um... Let's, let's, let's get our health back. Put our alt all the way up to the top. And it's a three for three. It's a three for three trade. Not too bad. Honestly, we need to go for the Abyssal Dragon. I don't know if my team's about that life. Really, though, we need to deny them Dark Slayer to get a little bit of gold first off. And basically make sure that they don't have it. Because if they get that Dark Slayer buff, we're definitely screwed. We are definitely screwed at that point. So there goes the Abyssal. We've got to get Slayer. We've got to get Slayer. We've got to get Slayer. They're all alive, though. They're all alive, though. Let's keep chilling. That Violet's unbelievable. Like, I understand what she was saying. Yes, in a team fight, you want to target the Violet, but who's going to target her from our team? There we go, boys. We're going to get that one jump. Nagrod is going to come onto the scene. Easy death there. We needed that big time. And let me see if I can stack up here. Get into this team fight. Obviously, they're going to back off. We've got to kill him, though. We've got to kill him, and we've got to get our... Uh, we've got to get that Abyss, that Dark Slayer. All right, so she went down. I didn't even need my ability there. 20 second cooldown now. I've got to wait for that to come up. But other than that, we're doing decent here, guys. Three dead. We've got to go for the... Uh, oh, no. Let's do this thing. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. If we ace the team, we might just push mid instead. Well played. We need that Slayer. We definitely need that Slayer. Oh, no. I thought that was the enemy in Akron. I thought we were in trouble. But we, need to, we need to win that Slayer, guys. If we don't get Slayer, there we go. We're going to bring up... We're going to bring... That's a slight comeback. If we can get the Slayer, at least we're going to have a boost. And deny them that I'm not really looking to win right now in this next push. It'd be nice, obviously, if we do come up with a dub. But if we're able to take down the Slayer, at least, we deny them Slayer. We get the buff for it. We've got a pretty decent chance, and now we've got arguing going on. They're busy typing instead of battling, and that's what we need right now. Battle. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's see. 
I almost want to join the Typhoon, but I don't think that's any benefits. And the reason why I don't want to go too far front, A, we don't have Nakroth Knight right now. And I could easily get jumped, as you can see, the Dial Chan always rolling with the Violet and the Arthur. So, wow. Wow, we need our team here ASAP. I'm just going to not hide in the bush. I feel like I'll get jumped if I hide in the bush. So, Dial Arthur there in the top. Violet to back up. All right. There goes the Dial. And now it's when we start to bring the comeback, boys. Our high ground's going down in that middle. Hopefully, hopefully Illumia at least cleans that up while she's there. And then we start pushing middle hard. Yes, Minis at the top going to take that tower. Didn't even see that happening. I don't think they saw that happening either. And is there a fight? There's a Nakroth on our Illumia. Always targeting the Illumia for some reason. She is a liability, but I think the Nakroth went down there. And now I think it's a great time for us to push mid. We've got to clear up these minions in the middle lane. Maybe even go after the Abyssal Dragon, just because we don't have much going on right now. We've got to get our gold. Bring the gold back and then start grinding some more. So here we go. Clean that up. Nakroth is working on that Abyssal Dragon. There we go. Calling the shots. And we need to just fight. We need to just stop, just fight and stop focusing on that fight over there. You know, fight on the map, not fight <laughs> with words. They're going after the team only. I'm not going to be able to make it to those fights because I'm not quick enough. Really? Like, I'm an Itali. I'm not mobile. I'm just here trying to pick up some minions so that when the team is ready after they clean up that entire team fight, I can help them out with the minions on the tower. Keep the pressure going, really. And let's see. Okay, that team is here. They don't know I'm here, though. I don't know why they want to decline. We're, we're in a good position. I think the buff is... Yeah, the buff's long gone, actually. And with everybody falling back, we did a good job there. We killed the Slayer. We took the next Abyssal Dragon, so we're kind of catching up on gold. And let's see what happens. Nakroth in the jungle. I'm almost level 15. Not quite maxed out on equipment yet, though. I've, I've got a lot of expensive equipment. And Zanus is going to get jumped, most likely. All right, Nakroth v. Nakroth. Whoever wins that battle wins the game. I'm not making this fight in time. Looks like that Nakroth is backing off. Nice! Nice! Our Nakroth is superior! So now we've got to push me. Do I have that thing? Everyone push me. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, boys. Zanus wants to grind. I like it. I like it. I'm backing up here. That Violet is unbelievable. Help me out, T! What? Help me out. No. There's my shield, but still I go down. The Arthur came straight for me. There was nothing I could do to get away from him. And I went down. That hurts, man. Maybe I should have went to the bush to try and cover up a little bit, but I don't know. The Zanus was near me. I think he went after their backline instead of helping me out. So I guess backline versus backline. We only lost one character, to be fair, and they, they lost three in the entire exchange. So I guess overall it's not too bad, but I really wish I stayed alive there. I should have activated that shield earlier. Maybe. I don't know if that would have helped. He hit me with his alt. So well done to Arthur coming straight for the back line. So once again, basically a stalemate. We've only cleared the first level towers. Abyssal Dragon is back up, and I think we should probably go after that for some gold. Instead of getting greedy here, um... What am I doing? So yeah, yeah, okay. Oh no. The minions were stacking up, but Nakroth took care of it. And he's probably going to go after the Abyssal Dragon to regenerate his health, because when he attacks the Abyssal, I'm sure he has that equipment where it helps him regenerate health. And he's going to get some more gold for the team. And there we go. This could be the end of the game right now. Right now, we're actually up on kills, but we're just getting destroyed on objectives. They only want to surrender. They're just arguing basically the entire fight instead of putting something together here. Ah, feels good, man. Let's just get these, these balls out. Just keep on firing these arcane balls out. And here comes the Arthur. Valiant Force team, really. And if she hits me with those crits, that's going to be game. Yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> that's, that's GG. So we got Steamroll at the end. 26 to 26. We just didn't have good team coordination. But I hope that video helped you guys learn how to use Natalia better. We honestly did a pretty good job with her. Our Valheim was kind of letting us down there in those team fights and in the solo lane as well as the Illumia. Basically, they just got into arguments the entire game. Nakaroth really putting it together as our jungle. I did a decent job there with the mage and our... Who was our last character? I, I don't even remember. I don't remember who our last character was. But our last character was doing work as well. Who was it? Let me see. It was our... Our Zanus. Our Zanus was putting in a shift as well. But really, we didn't have our second mage in the battle. We really didn't have the uh, ADC there cooking either because he was 2-6. and six. Really feeding the opponent as it was Illumia, 1 and 7 there. But either way, pretty decent fight. I hope you guys learned how to use Natalia, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. For more future daily arena of Valor content, I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace! This is exclusive. Go! 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 
Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. 